Okay. Um, well, here we are. Going to do an unboxing here. It's a uh, mystery unboxing because uh, I don't know what I got. Because how Barnes and Noble does it, if you order uh, an action figure from whatever wave, they say, oh, uh, individual character to be selected at random. I'm like, all right, it's kind of a grab bag thing. Um, I wasn't really down for that. It was not the initial plan. I had pre-ordered um, the Mandalorian, the Black Series, The Child, and through a series of unfortunate events, uh, my pre-order was canceled. Um, Barnes & Noble made kind of a goof. Well, it was a goof on both of our ends, but ultimately it was their fault. But, oh well. Um, things happen. Uh, there are worse things happening in life right now. Um, I'm not all that upset about it. I was at the time, but I kind of had a moment to woosa. And, uh, you know, kind of have a zen moment and come to grips with reality that they're just toys. Anyway, um, here we are with my mystery box. I ordered from the Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary um, wave. I don't know what's in this box other than the other thing, other than the other, that's English, right? The other thing that I did order in the same order um, is the Marvel Legends Stan Lee. Um, so that's in here. I know for a fact that's in here. Other than that, I don't know what's in the box. Yes. Uh, what's in the box? If you're a Brad Pitt 7 fan, uh, insert meme here or something. I don't have the editing capability, so I'll leave that to your imagination. If you haven't seen 7 with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, I highly, highly suggest... Oh, Kevin Spacey and, um... Oh, jeez, what's her name? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Help me out. Uh, Pepper Potts. Uh, very early on in her career. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, um... I always forget something in my videos, so I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments below, hopefully. Um, alright, so, let's, uh, without further ado... I don't have anything to cut with. How are we going to open the box? Oh, here it is. All right. Found it. We're good. Got Dad's old handy dad and a uh, cutter of things. Here we go. What is in the box? Oh, cutter of things. It's not as sharp as it used to be. Yeah, that's USPS package handling right there. So, this 40th anniversary wave could have been Bespin Luke. Could have been, uh, oh jeez, who else was in that? Oh, God, it could be anything. Rebel Soldier, Hoth, Rebel Soldier. I don't know. Drum roll, please. Oh, there's some, there's some packaging there. Oh, oh, they're killing me. All right. Ooh, this is suspenseful. Can you all see that? Air pillows. Uh, I don't remember that from Empire Strikes Back. Okay, so little sneaky peek, little sneaky peek. Oh, you know what? I got a big sneaky peek right up there, and I don't know if I like what I see. Ooh, if you can zoom in. Oh, it's probably my least favorite figure from the entire wave. All right, Barnes and Noble. Uh, junk mail. Something or other in there. Maybe they felt bad. Gave me something extra. What's this? Sorry for the goof. Now it's returning. Uh, okay. Well, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's talk about the obvious first. That is awesome. That that's great. So I pre-ordered Stan Lee and the Child at the same time. Excelsior. Awesome. Um, but when I straightened out the problem, uh, Stan Lee was, oh man, USPS, thanks for that. Well, I'm going to open them anyway. How can you resist? Well, I don't know, maybe I'll buy a second one and it'll be in better shape. 
this is going to be an opener for sure. All right. Thanks, Stan. Miss you, buddy. Uh, anyway, by the time I got everything straightened out, the child was no longer available. Um, which is exactly what I told the person helping me on the phone. Well, big reveal. Anyway, so I got Stan. He was still in stock, but not the child. So I got an AT, -AT driver. Um, yay? It's not, uh, it's not Jar Jar Binks. Although, you know what, actually, gosh, why haven't we gotten a, come on. Should we start a petition? Give us a, a Jar Jar Binks 40th, I'm um, sorry, a, a, a Jar Jar Binks um, Black Series figure. Maybe when we celebrate, yeah, maybe when we celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Phantom Menace. Oh, boy. God, would I even make it that long? I don't know. Anyway, there he is, at at driver. Um, hmm. Okay. Could have been, what else could I have gotten? I could have got Bespin Luke. Could have got Yoda. Could have got, I, I don't have, actually, I don't, the only two that I have here, I got the first version of the, uh, the pre-photo reel, um, Han Bespin. I have that one. I didn't get the Princess Leia from Hoth. I got the Princess Leia Escape from Cloud City Target exclusive. That was amazing that that was, like, in abundance, just, like, peg warming at my local Target. I don't know how, but I got one. Um, and I left the rest for the other collectors. Uh, shout out to Dan Larson, Toy Galaxy. Anyway, um, and I do have the Yoda, um, archive re-release. So I, I do have that one. Um, oh yeah, so I guess the Hoth Rebel Soldier's not in this wave. Bummer. Uh, but geez, yeah. And I do have the original release, Luke Skywalker Bespin. But, yeah, obviously not the greatest face. Um, I don't know if the sculpt was bad or the paint or just everything. But I'm I'm really looking forward to getting a, a new updated Bespin Luke. But this is not it. Um, am I disappointed? I don't think so. It's I There would have been other stuff much cooler, I think. Overall... Um, gosh, would I give it a sud rating? I don't know. Uh, hmm, what to do? Ah, I have an idea. I have an awesome, awesome idea. Cool. What's my idea? I, I think maybe, I don't know, donate it? Um, pass it forward somehow, um, give it to somebody who, I don't know, uh, well deserved, you know, give it, to, ah, yeah, I think I have a pretty cool idea, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it plays out, um, okay, yeah, I, I it's been decided, but, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work out, but I will let you know in a future video, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely update and uh, once I figure out what I'm going to do with it, um, if it works out, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, maybe when I do like an, unbo like an unpackaging, I already unboxed it, right? But when I unpackage and kind of pose around and do a little mini review of uh, Mr. Lee here, maybe I'll kind of give an update on the AT-AT driver that I was less than thrilled about. But uh, maybe someone else will be thrilled about it. I don't know. Well... We'll have to wait and see what I what I do. I've got a couple ideas floating around. So, uh, yeah, tune in um, in a future video, and we'll see what is the fate of the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back AT-AT driver, Black Series. Cool. All right, thanks for watching.